Uh, hey Joe, you happy with the work today? Yeah, I think obviously today, let's say the time sheet, we maybe expected a little bit better, but I think we were trying quite a bit things, few few things between the cars. Even for me, FP1 to FP2 is a completely different car, so we still have work to do, that's true, but uh, we're not too far. So a few times where they're mixing, fighting for a good position, so plenty of work to go ahead tonight. What's the feeling like around this circuit? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do. Obviously, it's a very high-speed track. There's no rooms for margin uh, for mistakes, but uh, in the other hand, you know, in the race, the IS is very playful for, the, for what's coming. And uh, yeah, there's opportunities here. There's always a tough track here. Uh, we see it qualify, and especially with this year, how the field is, it's very tight, so it could be an interesting one. Do you think Q3 is a realistic goal for you today? Or tomorrow, sorry? I mean, it's always the aim, you know. Every weekend we go to, we aim for Q3, and, uh, and then it's, it's a matter of how much that uh, we can get out of, of ourselves in the car. And uh, yeah, obviously today was a little bit behind, maybe top 10, but uh, I'm confident that we can bring some speed tomorrow, and let's see where hey, we Valtteri, are. Hey, happy with the work today? Uh, we tried different things today, like with the wing levels and, and uh, setups. Um, seems like we're lacking a bit of pace compared to where we expected to be today, but um, it is Friday and uh, main main days are ahead. Have you had a good sense of the long run pace for the weekend? It seems pretty close, like we saw in Bahrain, so um, hard to say in detail. But overall, I feel like yeah, we definitely need to find a bit of a step for tomorrow. But based on what we saw, what the capable in Bahrain will be working out tonight. Um, great result in Bahrain, do you think you can match that this weekend? Sorry? A great result in Bahrain for you, do you think you can match that this weekend? I see no re reason why not, I'm sure we can get to the points, but uh, for that we need to definitely find a find bit of pace for Koli and, and for the race, but um, as I said, it's going to be extra middle close. Kevin, how was your day today? Pretty good, um, got through FP1 and 2, um, yeah, there's lo lots of work to do as always on Friday night, but um, it's a tight field again, just like Bahrain, and, and um, you know, there's a lot to fight for tomorrow. And you've got good one lap pace, is that right? Do you still feel that your one lap pace is much better than your race pace? Um, at, uh, you know, this weekend, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's so different. Um, I need to look a little bit more, but um, things feel okay and we'll see tomorrow. Is the balance similar to Bahrain? It's a very different track, very different speeds. The corners are very much different, so. It's hard to compare one to one. I mean, uh, yeah, it's the same car. We haven't changed too much, but um, there are, you know, new challenges here on this circuit. And what's your objective for qualifying? Do as well as we can, of course. Try to get Q3. Um, yeah, but main focus is on Sunday. Nico, how was how was your day today? Yeah, I think it was okay. Um, no major. Incident situations, problems. I think we we kind of you know had a, a smooth Friday. Um, yeah, like always Friday, you know, you learn about the car, about the tires, uh, where's the balance. But I feel not in a bad place. Certainly, again, over one lap, I think we seem to be competitive. Um, the long runs again seem to be a bit more challenging for us. Um, so that's where our focus will be now. So, is it going to be a similar story to Bahrain? Do you think with tire deck? Uh, Bahrain was not just tire deck. I mean, I had obviously that incident on lap one, which kind of ended my race before it really began. Um, uh, it's just about you know pace, tire deck, uh, being quick in the right places. You know, all that we need to analyze and then consider and then come up with the best strategy. And how good is your one lap pace? What are you aiming for in qualifying? Uh, to be honest, I think quality is important, but not important as it used to be. I think these generation cars, many things happen always. Races are very dynamic, even with a poor quality, you can still have a great race. I mean, look at Pierre last weekend, he came from last to, to the points, so uh, it's of, of course not unimportant, but it's you know not the end of the world if you don't start in the top 10, so uh, obviously we'll try to maximize uh, quality and race. And finally, you've actually raced here before, right? I mean, how does this compare to this time last year? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, last year was wild coming here, it's, you know, it's a mighty fast track for the street circuit. And feels better, you know. Last year, I kind of felt like I was a passenger, and now I feel like I'm definitely more in the driving seat and, and have control over things. So, uh, it feels nice to to be in control.